Hey there, YouTube. It's Darren. I'm in my shop today. I'm going to show you. We have a Grand Design Imagine 2150 RB, and it has Arctic insulation for season protection. And I am going to get under the camper and show you what that exactly is. So basically, corrugated plastic, mylar sheeting, and then your exposed underbelly. And over there are, is the uh, water lines. So the, the theory behind this is the furnace blows heat into this uh, enclosed underbelly and then that sheet uh, contains a heat, um, reflects it back and it holds it up into the underbelly. It's a very small space. Uh, you're supposed to get airflow back here and I can just barely stick my hand through that space up there. And then these are your exposed water lines. You know, that come across here. Uh, this is really hard to film. I'm kind of just rolling around. But then over here, there's also a heat vent that comes back to the bathroom. And there's actually up in there really no space for airflow to get back here. And then this heat vent pops up into the shower. Uh, so the heated underbelly theory, I'm not, I don't think I'm getting any airflow there. And then let's come follow this water line back over to this side. Uh, the only place I'm thinking I could get possible airflow is up there. And I've turned the furnace on and, and held my hand up there. And I don't feel any airflow. That's my concern. All right, I've worked my way back and directly into the furnace. You can hear it running. Directly under the furnace here. Um, the water lines, you can't see them. They're actually behind this exposed uh, I beam. They're right up under there. So I've dropped this underbelly all the way to the furnace. I, I'm confused, folks. I, I feel no airflow. No airflow at all. All right, I'll admit, I'm totally confused. Uh, I, I pulled that. I, I was expecting to see the, uh, a uh, plume coming down from the furnace into the uh, heated underbelly, um, like a four inch or a three inch or a two inch or whatever. I went all the way to the furnace and uh, I, folks, I didn't see any heat vent dumping into the heated crawl space. I'm confused, I don't know. Um, there was no airflow. I showed you that on the video. And I, I was going to physically see a heat vent that dumped into there. I thought it circulated air. And I had the furnace running. And with my hand, I felt no airflow. And I, I physically see no vent dumping into that space. So I'm confused what a heated crawl space is. If somebody out there knows in the comment, let me know. Um, my understanding of a heated underbelly was that the furnace dumped air directly into it and circulated around. Um, but you've seen on the video, there's no vent there. So what I was going to do over here, I, I was going to heat or uh, insulate the uh, pipes. I got heat tape here and then we were going to wrap them. And I think on second thought, I'm not going to use this. Um, I think I'm just going to use the tape on the pipes and then hopefully that tape, it's uh, 31 foot, hopefully that tape will travel the whole length of the trailer, radiate heat and actually have that, uh, this stuff here, I got it at Lowe's, uh, easy heat and hopefully that will heat the underbelly. It's a, uh, you plug it in, runs on AC electric, so it won't work if you're boondocking. I'm confused folks I don't know and we do want to use this trailer in the winter so what I ended up doing I didn't even show it I went ahead and installed the uh, heat tape along there and I stuffed some uh, fiberglass insulation in there it was a lot of work I mean I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy I didn't show it uh, like I said it was just a lot of work I went ahead and installed that there's no heat vent there and I've watched other YouTube videos and I've seen on the Imagine 
that people had heat vents. I know the reflection. There's a YouTube video where there's a heat vent. And people, I'm telling you, there is no heat vent on this 2150 RB. I looked both sides. I took that down. There's no heat vent. My theory is heated underbelly, I think they're meaning they trap heat that escapes through the subfloor, the floor of the camper, the inside space is heated. A lot of that's going to uh, escape heat loss through the floor and then it, the uh, underbelly with the uh, mylar sheeting uh, traps that heat that has escaped heat loss through the subfloor. Um, not directly heated, but heated by trapping heat loss that radiates through the floor. That's my theory. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like the comment. I'd like to hear your comments on this. I, I'm confused. Um, so thanks for watching.